Okay, hello all you people out there, this is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and welcome to another part of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So, um, I may or may not have screwed something up royally with the video and not uploaded this part in the first place, I don't know what happened to it, but something not good. Anyway, so Hagrid, um, he has something to show us. I believe this, I, let, I believe I let this custom play in the end of the last part, so I'll just shut up and, um, let it play again, because why not? Secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to make it hatch. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? I grow them in caves out in the garden. I need you to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful, though. They're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go, then. So there's that, we need to get fire seeds for Harry's dragon egg fossil, whatever you want to call that thing. Uh, let's see, alright, so I'm just going to take a look around this. This is, um, goat pens over there. And that is another place that we come later. That's the exit of the fire seed caves, actually. That over there is, um, the entrance to the forbidden forest, or the main part of it anyway. Pigs. They don't do anything if you hit them with uh, Rook to Semper like you do in Chamber Secrets because we don't have Rook to Semper in this game. Uh, okay, so. Don't get away from me, you are annoying. Um, if my voice sounds a little weird or if I suddenly stop short today, I don't know what happened. I kind of have a sore throat, which I didn't have like five minutes ago. I don't know what happened. Um, it's the middle of summer, it's weird, I don't have anything else. But. Also, um, you may, I don't think anyone really has been watching this playthrough that closely, but you may notice that this has been uploaded out of order, like I said something briefly about earlier. I don't know what happened, I didn't upload the segment of the game, and I am I was uh, going through it to do the annotation directory board thing at the end, and I suddenly realized I didn't have anything for fire seeds. So I looked through my computer, I didn't have... Wh why did I cast Alhamora? Is there a chest over there or something? There's no chest over there, I mean, I saw the blue key things with Alhamora. Um, or game glitches. Anyway, so I was looking for my computer, I somehow... There was some error in how I, uh... I, ha I did my, like, edit, render, and upload system, and... I lost this video. I, I did commentate it and all that, but it apparently got deleted without me rendering it and saving it. Um, so yeah, I have to go and redo the whole this part. So um, hopefully I'll be setting this so it doesn't say like notify subscriber so nobody gets confused as to why I'm uploading part 8 of this after I like finish the final boss, but yeah. Anyway. So I just spent three minutes talking about how I'm a bonehead, uh, let's move on to something more exciting. So over here, you can jump over these ever perilous ledges like, Hagrid, you're sending students to a place where they can very easily drown, I don't think Professor Dumbledore would be very happy about that, especially considering that Harry's like, the boy who lived and do you really want to have to say that you accidentally went and killed the boy who lived by sending him to get some fire seeds for a dragon egg that you really shouldn't be owning legally and then he actually accidentally drowned or got eaten by doxies or whatever. Alright, so that's game logic at its finest. We are going to pick up a couple beans from that thing or whatever it was and come over here and um, we're outdoors again so it's kind of nice because the sunshiny parts of this game are kind of few and far between. That's too bad, I do like the sunshiny parts. Anyway, over here you can drop down the sludge or you could go where it looks like you're supposed to go, but that's no fun. You come over here, here's your first wizard card, so I failed to glitch into it like I usually like to. And I don't recognize who that is on the card, okay. So, uh, how I can put a card that's half as big as his body in his pocket. And when you hit that Fapendo thing, this, um, this, it looks like a, uh, a piston from Minecraft. It's going to come down and you can stand on it. And you're gonna go back up. 
We mechanics. All right, so there's a chocolate frog uh, getting some health back from the toxi. Over here, you knock this tree down and you uh, climb across it. I saw this in the Chamber of Secrets once in the Forbidden Forest with Aragog kind of at the end, and I thought it was like such a clever idea. And then I played that game before I played this game, so like I was kind of surprised to see that that mechanic is kind of all over the place in this game. All right, so that boulder. That boulder, um, we're kind of like reverse Indiana Jones here, we're pushing the boulders and chasing them instead of the boulders pushing us and chasing us around. So there's another chocolate frog, I'm at full health. Uh, you can hit that boulder again, and this is something I discovered rather recently. You hit that boulder again, you jump across here and you can get this secret thing, and that's got some stuff in it. So that's nice, like two whole beans is still two whole beans. Um, over this way, yeah, you can't hit that again, unfortunately. This boulder... You can give that a nice whack. Um, you would think a boulder of that shape, of that regular shape, would like roll in not a straight line, but apparently it does. Anyway, what is this thing? That must be a fire seed plant. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. That actually, that fire seed plant it actually reminds me of um, an ala plant. You know those like prickly, fleshy things that you see in houseplant store sometimes and if you break off a leaf there the uh the juice inside is good for burns and stuff um and believe it or not i actually used to be really into houseplants and uh plants in general and i could actually name like five or six variations of aloe off the top of my head and that reminds me of a specific species um i can't remember what it is now but yeah you all had to know that didn't you anyway so there's a random window up there I like how you can see the sky outside is multi-dimensional, like, I kind of said something about that in, um, the late part of the Incendia Challenge. Um, yeah, normal people wouldn't notice that, I know, there's something wrong with me. Anyway, over there, might as well run through that because this game is glitchy and you could probably fall off when you really didn't, but you'll die all the same. Um, another fire seed plant. I didn't mention this earlier, but I probably should. These seeds will, um... These seeds will be pretty hot when you first knock them off the plant, and they'll burn you if you touch them when they're so hot. So, they will cool down after a period of time, I think it's like 6 or 8 seconds. A good, a pretty good um, way to get an idea of when they're cool somehow or another, I figured this out, is to run around the plant once and in the time it takes you to do that, they'll cool down. So if you're the type like me that doesn't like to stand... Game. As I was saying, if you're like, if you're the uh, type like me who doesn't like to stand still for anything, um, you can. Uh, oh my god, my train of thought was like down in the toilet today. You can just run around the plant once and then pick up the seeds without stopping moving. So yeah, there's that. Um, another thing I should probably mention about this is that you don't actually have to pick up any of these, as far as I know. I've gone well, except for the. Uh, original I think because that's like the gate won't open unless you get them all but I've gone through this in debug mode and not picked up any and I think you can actually like get the reward at the end even if you don't collect any seeds at all if you like bypass the um if you bypass the plant area with the using the ghost mode thing or if you um use the console code to set the fire seeds to zero when you're at the end um it doesn't matter you the uh Hagrid will treat you like you got them all anyway. Anyway, so another boulder, and that beautifully cracks a hole in the wall and you can go through. Um, yeah, that was that's like among the best graphics of a video game of all time. Uh, you can knock that fire crab over. What you're actually supposed to do with them, I think, is knock them towards the pit thing at the other end. Um, That'll get rid of him permanently, because uh, it's a bottomless pit. He won't get back. Come on, get out of there, get out of there. All right before it bites me. Um, yeah, I don't feel like doing that, because I like fire crabs. They're among my favorite enemies in, um, in Harry Potter. So, let's see. And we can get that. And up. Oh, uh, there, there you go with the real terrible range again. Um, yeah, I'm going to just... You know, I forget what I said earlier about not hitting these things, I just have to do that because it's OCD and it makes me. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's bottomless, I've never jumped down to find out, I don't really want to. 
but you can't see the bottom anyhow, and the firecraft can't come out, so that's all that matters, I think. Anyway, Aaron, climb up the ledge. Come on. You can come over here, you can go around this fork path, it doesn't really matter which way, although I guess if you go to the left, you can see that little secret thing with, like, two beans in it. Um, you, stop it. I don't like the way you're flailing, flailing, flailing your heads about like that. Alright, you wake up pretty quickly too, which is not fun. So let's see, path forks, this way has nothing. Um, this way has really chompy things. Um, I'm trying to think of a Pokemon that it reminds me of, but I'm failing. I don't think there's any yet. The best I can come up with is a Victory Bell, and that doesn't really go after anything. like Unless, unless you happen to be James, but that's a different story. So, seeds are cooling down. I don't bother to run around the plant that time. Let's collect them, even though we probably don't have to. More of these things. Come on. By the way, um, I'm trying to remember, but I think this is the last point in the game in which those guys appear, so... If you don't like the Venomous Tentacula, this this Pharisee Caves area is the last you'll see of them. Um, and I'm not sure, I'll probably contradict myself in like two minutes, but I think those that you just passed were the last ones... Uh, specifically in the game. So, you hit these pillars, you knock them out of the ceiling. You can go and get those... Oh, that was close. You can get those uh, fire seeds up ahead. I don't really feel like it, but I might as well anyway. Um, let's hit that. There's nothing else in the room. I suppose it's always worth coming in these rooms anyway because you don't know if there's going to be like a secret area in them that you want to get. Because um, it may or may not contain a wizard card. But, actually the... The two wizard cards in this part of the game are kind of... Well, there's the one that was down down in the cave, kind of. This entire area is a cave. Uh, that was down in the cave on that cliff, and there's... The last one is at the end, and it's kind of hard to miss, so you don't have to worry about that. But, if you still want to explore, um, yeah, there's that. So let's hit this. The, the thing is going to fall. Did I call it a pillar a minute ago? Whoa, that almost knocked me into the water and killed me. Um, let's see, there's that fire crab. Might have to knock him away because he's in a rather inconvenient place. Although I can just go around him, I guess. Your range, it's like bad. Okay. So let's come over here. We're not going to get like burned by whatever these things do to you. Uh, no, we're not. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna get out of here. Um, we're gonna glitch up the side of the wall. Because in normal English, that makes sense. We're going to open that chest. We're gonna open this gate. We're gonna collect some four needless beans. Um, that thing that I just kind of pointed towards briefly on the screen is uh, where you would have came if you just went straight like through the thing with the fire crab. Um, Alright, so... No, there's nothing in here. Um, oh, yeah, that's still hot. All right, so there we go. Um, you can you can also tell that the fire season is still hot because they will kind of sparkle um, when they're hot. So yeah, there's that. Um, I want to say I missed something actually, but I don't think I did. You know, what, let's um, can I reach that? Probably not. All right, why did I even bother? I'm sorry for wasting your time, people. Alright, so, I'm trying this again. And we're not going to get distracted. I didn't miss anything, by the way. And down here. So this is the exit. Alright, so that's the end of this. I'm going to be ending off this video here. It feels like I didn't get that much accomplished, but the timer is at 14.10 right now, so um, I guess I did. We're not quite done yet, though, so we got to go see Hagrid. Okay, so there's that wizard card, that's the one that I was talking about, that's kind of hard to miss. Uh, let's go pick that up. If I am looking at that correctly, that's actually, that's actually Salazar Slytherin Slytherin... Salazar Slytherin Slytherin card, I almost said. Yeah, tongue twisters. Uh, his wizard card anyway, so I'm kind of wondering if like Hagrid was like, yeah, uh, I really want to get rid of this wizard card because I don't want to have Slytherin in my house, so can you take it for me? But... 
I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who invents stuff like that. All right, Harry, so put the fire seeds that you may or not have collected in the fire. Um, it's going to start to vibrate, and the fossil's going to hatch. It looks like a fossil, I'm seriously. Um, all right, you're way too excited about this, Hagrid. Then again, it is a dragon egg, and dragon are like, yeah, um, dragons. So, pretty sure most of all forms of dragons and Pokemon don't like that, so we have two different continuities here. Anyway, uh, Hagrid's going to give us the flute, which is, like, what? why do we need this? But it's it makes a brief appearance at the end of the game, you trust me. Um, I am going to end things off here, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Rate, comment, subscribe, watch some other stuff I have uploaded, and see you later.